I remember when I was a child and when I knew that I was going to get punished for something that I did wrong. Many of the time I would lie. And as a child, you really don't lie too well unless you are a really, really bad child. But anyways, I would lie. And and some of the time I would not get punished, but at least 80% of the time when I did something wrong, I would get punished for it. And like I said, I would lie about it, you know, like, no, I did not do that or no, I did not go there. <laughs> Just a whole lot of lying. So what my mom did, she would make me rememberize the second part of Psalm 101 and 7. So let's go there. To the left is the King James Version, to the right is the Expanded Bible. He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. So what does that mean? A person who is deceitful, a person who is very devious, like people, like if they are not telling you a straight lie, they will give you some details about what you are asking for, but leading you to another conclusion. Like, they aren't really saying, like, hey, you know, I am trying to lead you to think in this way. But in what they say, they lead you to think that the answer is that. Or they make you believe something that is not true. Deceit. Or they twist the truth so much that... I pray that you all understand this. Deceitful people. Or have you ever met people that would lie about anything? Like things that they don't even have to lie about, but they just lie about it because they can. Deceitful people. Or when you twist the truth so much to the point where It is a lie, really. I know for myself, many of the time, the thing that I do now, when someone asks me something that I don't want to answer, hey, I can't talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Let's talk about something else. Or I can't give you the details to what you are asking for. Is that going to make some people mad? Yes. But who cares? I don't want to lie to people. I don't want to twist the truth so much to the point where I am not telling the truth. <laughs> like I'm running into a lie. He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. So where is God's house, I guess you can say? It would have to be heaven, right? So this is saying, if you are a person of deceit, you are not going to heaven. Well, Kevin, it is only a white lie. What is a white lie? A lie is a lie. Even if it is a tiny lie or a large lie. Don't lie at all. Well, I am just lying because I don't want this person to get angry with me. Or I am just lying because I don't want to make a big issue out of something. That does not matter. You are making a big issue with God when you lie. 
So would you rather have an issue with a person or an issue with God? Think about that. If you are around people that want you to answer a certain way and if you don't do it, you need to get away from people like that. Like they are really controlling and stuff like that and if you don't say yes every single time they are going to raise hell perhaps you need to stay away from people like that or you feel like you have to appease everyone that is a problem within yourself because you should never have the feeling that you have to appease everyone how is it possible to even appease everyone? Because even if you do the things that a person may want you to want you to do, some people are going to find fault within that. Like you say, you may be able to say okay to everything a person may say to you. But even with that, a sinful person will find fault in that. Yes, you do what I say, but it is not all the way that I want it. <laughs> How can you complain when I am doing everything that you ask? Like you are finding like tiny stuff in what I am doing wrong. So what I am trying to say you should never get to the point where you feel like you have to appease everyone because what is the point? Okay, he that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight. So what does that mean? You are not going to tarry in God's sight. Meaning, if you are a person that lies so much, or any, how can you get into heaven if you lie? You see, God cares about all sin, even if it is sin that you see as small. So if you are not going to tarry in God's sight, how can you get into heaven? How can you be around God? Yes, God is omnipresent, yes, meaning he is everywhere all at the same time. But this is saying you are not going to be in heaven if you continue to lie and stay that way. I know for myself, yes, I used to lie, as I told you before. You know, when I was a kid and then in my 20s and stuff like that. Yes. But when I hear a person or notice a person that lies so much, like, to be honest with you, I don't want anything to do with a person that is untruthful so much because the way that I see it, if you are going to lie about something tiny, you are willing to do some major bad things to a person, like stab them in the back and some other wild things. Now, of course, you have to minister to people and stuff like that, but when it comes down to your personal time, like knowing that a person is going to lie to you like so much, it makes you not want to waste your time with them. I know for myself. Now, I know that, let me say this right. I am not saying that lying every so often is okay, but I can handle a person that may lie 
every so often. You know, like if they tell a lie here and there. But a person who just like silly lies. Oh man, crazy man. So I pray that this makes sense. Don't lie. If there is something that you don't want to tell a person, just say, hey, I'm sorry, but I can't talk about that. Or I don't want to talk about that. Say it in a kind way. And yes, when I say that to some people, they may get an attitude, but <laughs> so? <laughs> I don't care, man. <laughs> If you get to the point where you are asking me a personal question and I know that you are some type of way, you know, I am not going to tell you. I would be like, hey, I can't say. What do you mean? Do you think uh, you are better than me and blah, blah? Think whatever you want, you know. <laughs> so I pray that this makes sense. God bless.